Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Gala Games price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Gala Games chart which at the time of this recording is holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also continued to obey the ADO12 structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that managed to get into the minimum retracement area which lies between the 0.0 0.0355 dollar mark and the 0.02569 dollar mark in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.03 dollar mark and having managed to get into the minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 I now believe that Gala Games has bottomed out in the formation of that wave 2 and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive run up to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and all this is playing out after we fully picked in the formation of a larger AD12 count 1 to the upper side and that was after seeing the formation of these five wave structure of this ADO12 structure right here in yellow having the wave 5 giving us a picket around the 0.06352 dollar mark and also completing the formation of that first wave to the upper side and before I get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also sketch out my target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.10496 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upper side to do and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that wave 3 I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for that wave 3 to the upper side and it is this micro ADO 12 count within the formation of this wave 3 that I'm expecting to give me the short term scenarios and I believe that is better seen here on the 1 hour chart so jumping to the 1 hour chart for further analysis and to give you the short term scenarios here on the 1 hour chart you can see that after seeing our low in the formation of this wave 2 down here we started this massive run up to the upper side of being the ADO12 structures where you can see that I have this ADO12 structure in white having that as the first wave then a wave 2, a wave 3, a wave 4 and then the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the 0.05114 dollar mark and also completing the formation of that first wave to the upper side and after seeing the high for that first wave whatever we expected next was a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 0.04071 dollar mark and the 0.03475 dollar mark and that is the target area that I'm watching as a minimum retracement area in the formation of this wave 2 and it is within this white target area that I'm expecting now to see the low for this second wave before we can start gearing up in the formation of this wave 3 then expect a wave 4 and then the wave 5 to fully maximize our larger ADO 12 count 3 that I have shown you on the 4 hour chart and here on the charts you can see that at the time of this recording we have managed to get into this minimum retracement area in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.0379 dollar mark and after seeing that low we saw a bit of a reaction to the upper side yesterday in a move that gave us a bit of a short term movement to the upper side of up to 6.93 percent which is a good run up to the upper side and at the time of this recording you can see we are still seeing the breakdown to the lower side into this white target area and there are two possible scenarios scenarios that I want to give it, uh, to give to you and the first one is there are chances that we might have bottomed out in the formation of this wave 2 since we have managed to get into the minimum retracement area and if that is the case and assuming that the low for this second wave is in we can sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that we have at the moment 
and that now gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.07161 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect Gala Games to do in the formation of that wave 3 assuming that the low for that second wave is in and that Gala Games is not going to give us one more leg down in the formation of this wave 2 but we also need to have in mind that there are chances that we might continue seeing the breakdown also given that we are trading below the 20 day MAs both on the 1 hour chart and also on the 4 hour chart which are now acting as resistance and since that is the case and we continue seeing the breakdown to the lower side then there are chances that we are going to fully maximize our target area that is this white target area by retracing back to the area at around the 0.03489 dollar mark so we have that possibility also that we are going to see further breakdown to fully maximize the white target area and once we fully maximize the white target area and continue holding within it then I'll be expecting to see another strong reaction to the upper side in what will be the start of that wave 3 to the upper side and in case such a move plays out and we get one more low in the formation of that wave 2 then we can be able to sketch out new target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 we also need to have in mind that we need to continue holding within this white target area which lies between the 0.04073 dollar mark and the 0.03494 dollar mark and as long as we are holding within the white target area then soon we are going to see the reaction to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 once we bottom out in the formation of that wave 2 so let's continue watching our white target area and in case we see a breakout out of this white target area to the lower side then that will be suggesting an alternative scenario here on the gala games chart and in case such a move plays out then i'll be able to come up with the alternative scenario but for now let's continue watching our white target area because we need to continue holding within it and getting back to the four hour chart so that we can take a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported here on the RSI on the RSI we are trading at around the 39 mark meaning in case the breakdown continues that movement will still be supported on the RSI but in case the reversal happens from the prices that we are trading within that movement will still be supported here on the RSI also taking a look at the MACD we had been able to print a bullish cross over here and also saw a bit of an increase in the buying momentum but at the time of this recording we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the buying momentum suggesting that soon we might be able to print a bearish cross suggesting lower prices might be coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated